Hi, welcome. My name is Harvey Olivio, clinical instructor at Carrington College, Las Vegas, Nevada. I have the respiratory guy with me, Mr. Houston, on the video camera. Greetings, everyone. We are going to do our competency for small volume nebulizer therapy. So, of course, we need to check the patient's orders, make sure that uh, we have an order for everything we're going to do, scan the patient's chart. We're going to have PPE on, so any type of gloves, gowns, masks, we're going to have all that on for the, this uh, particular treatment. Um, we're going to make sure we have a flow meter, so we have an oxygen flow meter and we have an air flow meter. Um, and we have our small volume nebulizer set up, so I'm going to go ahead and go over that with you really quick. This is just a typical, normal aerosol mask, so you have two holes. You have the uh, bridge where you can make this fit the patient more comfortable just by opening, closing, fitting. You have your strap. You can make adjustments to that. And then this is the part where the nebulizer cup fits into. Um, you can also give a, a mouthpiece treatment if the patient prefers that, which I do recommend mouthpiece over mask. But for this demonstration purposes, we're going to just talk about the uh, mask breathing treatment. Um, you got to have some oxygen tubing. Some places, the temp, depending on the type of equipment you have, might have color coded. So one end might be blue, might, one end might be green. The blue end goes to the nebulizer and the green end goes to the oxygen. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this. So this is your med cup. It has a baffle in there. Just make sure the baffle is seated correctly. You're gonna go ahead and put this cap on. Make sure it's twisted in the correct position and tight, no leaks. One end of your tubing will go here make sure it's on there pretty good you don't want it to pop off during the treatment and then you have your mask and it's going to go in like so the other end of this is going to go to the oxygen uh, flow meter so we're going to have our medication as well so for demonstration purposes i have a package of albuterol and it's 2.5 milligrams in 3 mls that's the unit dose so we're going to pretend that i took it out and i have some saline here okay so, Mr. Smith, my name's Harvey. I'm with Respiratory. I'm going to go ahead and give you a breathing treatment if that's okay with you. If Mr. Is Mr. Smith is okay with that, um, I'm going to proceed. If he says, you know, I, I don't want a treatment, I have to make a note of that and say that he did not want the treatment. So, Mr. Smith, would you prefer or have you had breathing treatments before in the past? If he says yes, I do them all the time. Great. If he says no, I'll explain to him exactly what we're going to do. So, Mr. Smith, this is going to be a small mass. I can do a mouthpiece if you like. Uh, it's just going to sit on your face for about 10 to 15 minutes, and it's just going to be a fine mist. You're going to breathe in and out through your nose or mouth. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put that on him now. So, we're going to sit Mr. Smith up a little bit. So always be mindful of your patient, ask them what uh, height's good for them because sometimes they have pain or back issues and certain heights might hurt them or be uncomfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and put him there. We need a Christmas tree for this. Some devices do have it where you don't need a Christmas tree, but ours do. In the event that you have a patient that's on oxygen, let's say Mr. Smith was on two liter nasal cannula. You don't have to run it off of oxygen. You can leave his oxygen running for his nasal cannula and then you can use air to run the breathing treatment. But for this purposes, Mr. Smith's on room air so we're gonna be able to use this. Okay, I'm gonna pretend that I'm putting all the medicine in there but I'm just gonna put a little just for demonstration purposes so you do have some liquid in there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn our compressor on. And for flow meter, you always want to remember eight is great. So five, six, seven, eight, eight is great. So we're gonna go ahead and place this on Mr. Smith and you will see some aerosol coming up. I'm gonna put a little bit more just for demonstration. So you do see all that fine smoke coming out or mist. That's the medication going to Mr. Smith. You of course want to check vitals, so that should be something you do before and after. So we want to make sure we check heart rate, breath sounds, respirations, and SpO2. After we're done with this, we thank Mr. Smith for what we did, and we go ahead and take post vitals. So I'm going to take everything off. Thank you very much, Mr. Smith. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. A lot of times patients will get um, additional treatments throughout the day, so you should have a bag for their equipment, and this should go in the bag and be left at the bedside for future use. If any kind of dirtiness or anything, you toss it out and get a new one, okay? After that, we um, 
do our post vitals. And if Mr. Smith would like to go back to his previous position, we would do that. Mr. Smith, would you like to me to lay it back down? Yes, you do. Okay, I'll lean it back down a little bit more for you. Tell me when to stop. When the patient is doing his treatment and everything, just encourage them to breathe, encourage them to cough. Um, make sure you're monitoring for everything. Make sure that if you see any adverse effects, like if his heart rate starts going too high, uh, you would want to stop the treatment and make a note of that. So after the treatment is done, I'm going to clean my hands, clean up my mess, um, go document everything, and then uh, chart everything. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Is there anything else I can do for you before I leave? Any requests he has, I'll try to accommodate. And then I will let him know if there's another treatment coming that I'll be back at whatever time to administer another treatment. Thank you.